Marga. Marga. Marga, stop. Stop. Margo, stop. This isn't funny. Stop. This isn't funny. Margo. Margo. Something is wrong. Wrong. How are you guys today? We're good, thanks. Thanks for taking us on such short visits. No problem, no problem. Can you describe to me what has been happening with Margot here? Well, she's been acting really strange lately. Pretty much just like this. Alright. I, I don't know if I would call these behaviors strange, Emily. Your friend has, from what I have heard from you, I suspect that it is catatonic schizophrenia. If you don't mind, I would like to perform some diagnostic tests to of farther course. conclude for my suspicion. Mm -hmm. I can go right out there in the waiting room. Thank you. All right, hello Margo, my name is Dr. Fields. I'll be your therapist today. How are you? All right then, yeah, that's, thank you. Thank you, nice to meet you, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. All right, this time I'm going to put my hand out like I'm going to shake your hand, but I don't want you to shake my hand. My hand needs to be left alone. Do you understand what I'm asking you to do? Great. Oh, okay. No, that's that's normal. That's, that's all right. Fine, that's fine. All right. Um. So now I'm gonna move your arms a little bit. Tell me if you get uncomfortable, okay? How are you feeling? Great. That's great. That's great. I'm going to move you back to your normal position now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. We'll just get Emily back in here. Emily? John, bring Emily in. Thank you, John. How are you? I'm good. Is everything all right? Well, uh, by the looks of it, everything is not currently alright, but it will be, with my help. I will give you a benzodiazepine, which is an antipsychotic drug, and if she takes it daily, she should get back to near normal functioning. But, I have a suspicion that her family activities at home, her home situation, may be having an effect on her illness. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to watch your home behavior with Margo um, one of these days soon so I can find out if my suspicion is correct. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I'll fine. have my assistant set up a time. Alright, thank you for bringing her in. Mm -hmm. Come on, Margo. Come on, Margo. Come on, Margo. Come on, Margo. Oh, oh dear. John! John! Get in here! John! John! She's been for the past few hours? Yeah, she's been frozen like this for the past few hours. That's fine, that's fine. I'm just going to record your home situation, so I want you to just pretend like I'm not even here. Alright? Alright. Sweet. Margo, stop. Margo, not again. Sit down. I've seen enough. You need to. You no. You need to sit down. Turn off that TV. Thank you. All right. So, do you fully understand your friend's condition here? Sure. I don't think you do. Listen, what she is doing right now, her actions are not being controlled by her. They are being controlled by her illness. She does not purposely mean to interrupt you. It's just her illness interrupting you. And. You need to try to understand that so that you don't create an opposition against her because as soon as she feels that opposition, she's just going to freeze like a turtle going into its shell. Do you understand me? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. I think based on this observation, I'm going to have to schedule you to two days a week family therapy in which we will come together and talk to get through your problems with Margot's illness and try to make you feel both more comfortable with her illness. 
Does that sound good? That sounds good. All right. I'll get John to call you. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. See you, man. One. John, can you please send the girls in? So gorgeous. Oh, hi. How are you guys doing? Hi. Good. Great. Great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. So, how have both of you been? Good. We've been good. We've been jogging again, too. Oh, that's great. That's great. Margo, how do you feel with the morning jog? Good. Tired. <laughs> oh, Margo, there's nothing I can do to help you with that. <laughs> oh, man, it just shows you how great biomedical therapy and family therapy can be when dealing with catatonic schizophrenia. I'll see you guys later.